Hello fish friends and Rekhopf and I am back with the next rotation here on Bone Rata Arena. We are at 9th. Search the game while I talk a bit about the rotation. Yeah, as, I've, as I've mentioned previously, this is... Uh, all three of these sets are pretty solid and this one is no exception. No new weapon here anymore, just old ones. The sploosh of course is amazing, in my opinion it's just the best thing that better than Grisco weapons, honestly. Except for some situations, of course, but we always have that. The duel is also very solid. The Rapid Blaster. But what it lacks in firepower, it makes up with a very good support. Dang, first game. Just like Fish Stick Cancelling, Quick Stinger kills. Yeah, fish Stick Cancelling is very much worth on this map, even though the XR landing where. May or may not actually share a few waves of that. The two. Just shoot a million fish to grab a blaster. Or the Hydra, whatever. We have two good weapons to cancel fish to Mission. Not so sure about as if it's worth an charge. Just a rather stupid What will happen here is the X will land on the other side of the water, which sucks. That is the last... Three cannons and I'm the Hydra. Uh, hey... Oh, yeah. Almost there. I hear this ring coming. This was far from ideal, but I mean, we got there, right? <laughs> Ideally, you just wanna the Hydra, of course. Really bad mobility and ability and stuff. The freelancers wouldn't let me. They wouldn't let me, but then we'll just lose the quota because only one person egging is clearly not enough on this kind of wave. The Rapid Blaster. Does not work here. The normal tight. Ah. Uh, it was an unusual angle that is at the one cycle there. Oh, that's one cancelled fish stick. And by you. What you can, of course, also do, I mean, it's the fastest, but you can also. Let's from pretty much anywhere here with the rapid. I'm gonna feel this one, yep. Nice! Oh, really, no? Down. Oh, at least it's a uh, trouble. Oh no, the rain. Um... <laughs> Life, okay. Ah, oh, did not get the timing right there for the triple direct one cycle. Oh my god, I'm finally dead, but we have quota. Oh, 
Artifacts not all right here. Yeah, anyway, it is day two, pretty much exactly 24 hours after the operation started. Quality of games may very much vary. I just don't wanna cancel them sometimes. Nope. That's so sad. Something got killed. Oh, really? Yet. That's very good shot. And that I think the flag was then. I guess we're keeping the big shot count at one. Oh, never mind. What's there? One, one. But you definitely need to watch here if like, like we get multiple deaths in the second half slash the third. Then we're just gonna lose this one. <laughs> Most of the X came in, in the end game here. There's nothing at but at early on. Honestly, like in the others map just works for the most part. If you keep up well and people stay alive and stuff, it's completely fine and enough. If you do get snow valves and does not recover, then it can get really hard. Or I'll see you in the next lobby. Alright, back with the second game here, has that level mix again. A lot of spaces and Name. The splish on Nanotide breaks. Splush has actually kind of not impressed me too much on this map because of the short range and just really had to have like at least middling range here. Oh my! Did the teammate seriously just just fake helping out and then not actually help out? And we get two bombs, nothing we need. Like that? Ah. Right after I left. Follow me too. Nice. I'll just let here. Go. And let's all that make sure it doesn't spawn stuff in our bags. That's one of the rest that I can actually test our inspect. Not the first time I've seen that. It hasn't been common, but I've seen it a bit. Alright.
<laughs> right back on the biggest bit of game mode. Right, nice, I got it. Oh, my fish can actually get that, but okay. Just will only be carrying that stuff to the bridge, but not the basket. There's not really a spot that they can do maybe this one. No. It depends on specific position. Okay. Here, but that's precisely why I wasn't looking much like a threat of this as the whole situation. I feel like low tide is overall the hardest here. There's a snowball there that's harder to recover than anything else because the basket is not protected anymore. As long as things are nice and clean. Usually fine. Sticks, not just a fly fish. Big shot. Got that too. I guess so they have the cannon now. Need more. Ah. Tried to aim right off the lid, but didn't quite get the cut. Big. I do have Nike already. Like my gamers. Hey, we got 16 now, I don't think so. Ooh! Is that Barbaros in game number 2 already? I think it is! So just. This just be the shortest episode. Ah! What happened here was the Hydra that I didn't pay attention to. Was. No, it wasn't the Hydra. This was my first low tide virus. And the other tides was of course always really easy. The 
Alter, ich kann ja weg. Okay. Really nice. Here we go. We got all the scales. Oh god, it's out of this whole rotation, you hate to see it. Yeah, I guess that's like a makeup for me getting quite a lot of girls out of the first rotation here, actually. Hopefully, getting even more out of Big Run will be very soon. And considering that I'm actually kinda busy, I don't think I will do another cycle, so yeah, it will be much. Shortest episode ever. Before before I leave you, we can talk a bit about the upcoming missions. So about this one, we have already talked previously. And there's this one here, classic stamper rotation with bad paint in it. <laughs> I don't know, this has been a common theme for some reason. But it is pretty good against lessers actually, and doing very well against fish sticks too which is of course very much welcome because Demper really hates fish sticks and not super high on the slosher for fish sticks because it's slow at killing them the rapid can cancel and the three works usually well but then th three or four shots and you're done there yeah classic bad paint stuff Rotation, so respect the flippers, of course. Because then there sh should also be nice enough. Like, we have two high DPS things with the O3. Then two good support warriors there. You know, you kill the bosses you can kill with the main weapon, and then just throw God next at everything works every time. <laughs> Yeah, as you're seeing here with the timestamps, actually, I don't know if you paid attention, this will be a 24 hour rotation. I think this is not the shortest rotation of all time. I think we've had a shorter one before. We've also had extra long rotations too. Yeah, after that, the next will be a big run on your tail alley, and that is where we'll do my next notes even. We'll see. Anyway, for the rest of the season, I will be doing mainly Bone Rat Arena. I, I might exactly, might actually do Bone Rat Arena then. I don't know yet what we'll do for a season season. Presumably, there will not be no map or anything. We do not know whether there will be any kind of summon run update at all. I might just go through all of the maps again. I'm gonna do a bunch bunch of more Bone Red Arena after Big Run. I don't think there is a rotation announced for it yet. But yeah, assuming that it will always be the seven maps in the same order. Something that will be nice and that we did not have in the previous two seasons, I believe, that we actually Get to play other maps at the best times for each zone. We, you know. Because it's not 6 anymore, and you know what 6 did is uh, any given map was by starting and ending at the same time. There should be some with that. And of course, the other good question is what are they gonna do with the kingdom? And it's here, it's too, it's too early to tell whether what's best in time there. I'll swap those around a bunch too because those happen to be three. Hopefully, it will not to run, but if not, then it's actually looking good for Europe right now because I mean, it might not after big run anymore. <laughs> But before that, at least the curves in the rotations were on my rotations. Anyway, enough rambling here. I will see you at your tail. Good one and 
other fish. 